Yet again, a statement from Neil deGrasse Tyson reveals that we have no clue about what it is, except that we can quantify it. The farthest voyage test ever, Explorer 1, made a frightening revelation. Something got back to Earth that surprised the researchers. Explorer 1 distinguished a peculiar humming sound coming from outside our planetary group. Yet what is it? A formerly obscure type of issue? An outsider transmission? Or an interstellar quantum peculiarity? We can gauge it, yet we don't have the foggiest idea what it is. Neil deGrasse Tyson communicated his fervor and disappointment simultaneously. This disclosure stunned established researchers since no one had expected signals like these in interstellar space. This disclosure was made by Stella Kooch, an understudy at Cornell College. She and her group found this humming in the data from Explorer's plasma wave system, which measures the number of particles going in interstellar space. Although the humming is incredibly tranquil, it's repeated so consistently that researchers believe this transmission could finally offer us significant answers about how space between the stars truly functions. Stella Kooch believes that the humming could emerge from gas interacting with stars, interstellar winds, and magnetic resonances. Did you know that there is a delicate breeze between the stars? We generally prefer to think that endless dark space is unfilled, but that is not true. The murmur recorded by Explorer 1 could be caused by interstellar breeze, which consists of charged particles coursing through the interstellar medium and interacting with the remnants of the solar wind. Or perhaps the transmission is the result of resonances between the magnetic fields of interstellar objects and the spacecraft. These resonances could produce motions that are perceived as murmuring. Yet presently, the question emerges about what interstellar objects could be. These could be small micrometeoroids, for instance, which constantly hit the surface of Explorer 1 and create vibrations that are then recorded as a humming sound. The murmuring could also be a sort of echo of ancient cosmic explosions, whose energy and particle waves are still traveling through the interstellar medium, creating a faint but measurable background noise. These remnants of supernovae, which might have occurred thousands or millions of years ago, would be an intriguing echo of the past. However, completely new objects in space that we are not yet aware of are also possible. After all, the humming could be the first sign of a completely new discovery. Is Explorer 1 on the trail of a rare quantum peculiarity? The Explorer mission is considered one of the most notable journeys of a man-made measuring instrument ever launched. In 1977, the spacecraft has now traveled so far that the residual radio contact alone is quite a marvel. It takes over 22 hours for a transmission to reach Earth from the spacecraft's location. If Explorer 1 encounters an unusual peculiarity, we only learn about it 22 hours later. However, the odd humming was not directly observed by the researchers. It was isolated from old data. The transmission could not have been perceptible, but unique computer programs were able to sift it out from thousands of bits of data. There might be other mysterious transmissions and measurement results concealed in the data that we have not yet seen. Some suspect that the humming or other data which might be preserved could be evidence of extraterrestrial technology. The humming could come from a distant extraterrestrial technology that transmits messages through space. These transmissions could be a form of communication or even a type of radar. There are no official investigations into this, only hypotheses. Other exciting explanations for the mysterious humming in space are quantum peculiarities. Quantum fluctuations are constantly occurring at the subatomic level, with particles and antiparticles suddenly appearing and vanishing again. These quantum changes produce small vibrations which, although extremely weak close to Explorer 1, could be enhanced over significant distances and perceived as murmurs. The idea describes a sort of quantum noise transmitted through the interstellar medium. These vibrations could also be amplified by quantum entanglement, a phenomenon where two or more particles are linked together. Thus, this transmission is somewhat like a mysterious murmur of the universe trying to tell us something we don't yet understand. Such quantum peculiarities might be the key to hidden dimensions or parallel universes in string theory, which attempts to explain the fundamental particles and forces of the universe. It is conjectured that there are extra dimensions beyond our known four. Sometimes these hidden dimensions could intersect with our space-time, causing measurable effects. These intersections could create energy fluctuations resulting in a buzz in the interstellar medium. 
there could be gateways to these parallel universes that occasionally interact with our own universe. Finding such a gateway would certainly be a sensation. These ideas are viewed with skepticism by mainstream science, but they are highly intriguing to explore. So far, however, the official assessment is still that the humming is probably due to a conventional interaction of the interstellar breeze with the heliosphere of the sun. Explorer 1 crosses the heliosphere. What hardly anyone knows is that our Earth doesn't orbit straight around the sun in space. Rather, we orbit our star in a sort of protective shell which scientists call the heliosphere. The Earth doesn't rotate freely either, but is bound to the Sun and embedded in a play of various planets, moons, and celestial bodies. All of this together makes up our solar system, and this system flies through the galaxy like a closed case. Yet even the Sun can't move freely within the galaxy. It is bound to the gravity of other stars in the Milky Way, moves similarly to them, and is ultimately also influenced by the center of the galaxy and other large-scale effects. How our heliosphere moves within the galaxy and what effects it causes or is exposed to is still one of the great mysteries of cosmology. So you can imagine the excitement with which researchers anticipated the moment when Explorer 1 crossed the heliosphere. On August 25, 2012, the time had come. Explorer 1 crossed the heliosphere, the farthest edge of the sun's influence, and entered interstellar space. The boundary region is known as the heliopause, and it marks the point where the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emanating from the sun, meets the interstellar medium and stops propagating. It took nearly 12 months for researchers to be certain that the transition to interstellar space had truly occurred. The entry was only confirmed in September 2013 as part of a study published in the journal Science. Researchers were astonished as they had imagined the end of our solar system's influence to be quite different. The heliopause was expected to gently fade away like the water on a beach. Instead, Explorer 1 reported passing through a nearly solid particle barrier. This skin marks the actual boundary of our solar system, and the discovery likely underscores the significance of the heliosphere as a closed container within the galaxy. Scientists initially did not know exactly what marked the end of the heliosphere and the beginning of interstellar space. While crossing the heliosphere, Explorer 1 recorded several other remarkable changes in the environment. First, the plasma wave instrument on board the spacecraft recorded a dramatic increase in plasma density. This event occurred between April 9 and May 22, 2013, when a strong solar flare caused electrons near Explorer 1 to vibrate. These vibrations indicated a higher particle density than in the areas directly inside the heliosphere, which was a clear sign that Explorer 1 had finally reached interstellar space. Another sign was a sharp reduction in solar particles and a simultaneous increase in cosmic rays. On the day of the actual crossing of the heliopause, Explorer 1 reported a thousandfold decrease in solar particles and a large increase of around 9% in cosmic rays. These measurements ultimately prompted the team to officially announce the spacecraft's entry into interstellar space. Another significant clue about how this boundary of our heliosphere is structured was revealed by the differences with Voyager 2. Voyager 2, the sister spacecraft of Voyager 1, crossed the heliosphere on November 5, 2018, about six years after Voyager 1. Voyager 2 is equipped with a functioning plasma instrument that had failed on Voyager 1. Thanks to these additional plasma measurements, scientists were able to obtain much more precise and direct measurements. What had to be inferred indirectly with Voyager 1 was confirmed. While both spacecraft recorded a significant increase in plasma density, there were clear differences in their observations of the magnetic field. Voyager 1 experienced no significant changes in the magnetic field, which was somewhat surprising, and Voyager 2 showed several subtle changes that again provided exciting insights into the nature of the heliopause. With the data, researchers can now better reconstruct how our solar system interacts with the surrounding space, what effects there are, and how the medium in which we are traveling with our solar system is organized remains to be fully understood. Nevertheless, Voyager 1 was never intended to return to Earth. You might be surprised to find that Voyager 1 was never meant to travel in a very cold and dense environment for over 40 years. The fact that the spacecraft has endured for such a long time and its technology is still working perfectly is nothing short of a miracle. NASA is proud of its two veterans despite occasional resistance to the program. 
cuts in the space budget nearly spell doom for the mission, yet the science clearly showed that we humans need these two spacecraft and the information about space. Working and maintaining the spacecraft cost millions of dollars a year. Nevertheless, the measurement results and the unique position of the two spacecraft in interstellar space are invaluable for research. The spacecraft will therefore be with us for a few more years, provided they remain functional. In 2021, Voyager 1 suffered a dramatic failure, and for months NASA feared for the continuation of the mission. Some engineers managed to solve the problem, and the mission was able to continue. In spring 2024, NASA issued another statement saying that the mission was likely to continue. The Voyager 1 mission, beyond its technical achievements, has provided an unprecedented opportunity to study the environment at the very edge of our solar system. As Voyager 1 ventures further into interstellar space, its data offers invaluable insights into the nature of the heliosphere and the transition into interstellar space. This exploration helps scientists understand how our solar system interacts with the surrounding galaxy and the broader cosmic environment. The spacecraft's instruments have been meticulously designed to measure various cosmic phenomena. For instance, the Cosmic Ray Subsystem, CRS, on Voyager 1 plays a crucial role in detecting high-energy particles originating from outside the solar system. By analyzing these cosmic rays, researchers gain insight into the intensity and variation of galactic cosmic rays, which helps in understanding the interstellar medium and its interactions with solar emissions. Additionally, Voyager 1's magnetometer provides detailed data on the magnetic fields in space. This instrument measures the strength and direction of magnetic fields encountered by the spacecraft. Changes in these magnetic fields offer clues about the interactions between solar and interstellar magnetic fields and help scientists map the boundaries of the heliosphere more accurately. One fascinating aspect of Voyager 1's journey is its encounter with the interstellar magnetic field, which differs from the solar magnetic field. This magnetic field is thought to originate from the diffuse material found in the space between stars. Understanding its properties not only sheds light on the nature of the local interstellar environment, but also on how different cosmic regions interact with one another. Voyager 1's observations have revealed that the interstellar medium is not homogeneous. It has variations in density and magnetic field strength. These variations can significantly influence the behavior of cosmic rays and other high-energy particles. For example, regions of higher density may cause increased scattering of cosmic rays, while fluctuations in the magnetic field can modulate their trajectories. Such observations are critical for developing more accurate models of cosmic ray propagation and understanding their effects on space weather. The spacecraft's ongoing journey through interstellar space also provides a unique opportunity to test theories of galactic and cosmic phenomena. For instance, Voyager 1's data can help validate models of galactic cosmic ray acceleration and propagation. By comparing observational data with theoretical predictions, scientists can refine their understanding of these complex processes. Moreover, Voyager 1's mission has highlighted the challenges of operating spacecraft at such vast distances. The spacecraft relies on a limited power supply from its onboard radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which produce electricity from the decay of plutonium-238. As the power output of these generators gradually decreases, engineers must carefully manage the spacecraft's limited resources. This includes optimizing the operation of scientific instruments and maintaining communication with Earth. The long-term survival of Voyager 1 underscores the robustness of its design and the ingenuity of the engineers who built it. It also reflects the broader human endeavor to explore and understand the universe. The mission's longevity and the continued collection of valuable data serve as a testament to the perseverance and dedication of the scientists and engineers involved in the project. As Voyager 1 continues its journey, it remains a symbol of human curiosity and the quest for knowledge. Its data not only advances our understanding of space, but also inspires future generations to pursue scientific discovery and exploration. The mission serves as a beacon for ongoing and future space missions, demonstrating the potential of space exploration to reveal new and profound insights about the cosmos. Looking ahead, the legacy of Voyager 1 is likely to influence the design and objectives of future space missions. Scientists and engineers will build on the knowledge gained from Voyager 
one to develop more advanced spacecraft capable of exploring even greater distances and more challenging environments. Future missions may focus on investigating specific regions of the interstellar medium or seeking out new phenomena beyond our current observational reach. In summary, Voyager 1's mission is far from over. It continues to provide critical data that enriches our understanding of the solar system's boundaries and the broader interstellar environment. The insights gained from its journey will undoubtedly shape the future of space exploration and contribute to our ongoing quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe. The mission's success highlights the importance of perseverance in scientific endeavors and the enduring human spirit of exploration. As Voyager 1 drifts further into the cosmos, it carries with it the hopes and aspirations of humanity's quest for knowledge beyond our own world.